and calls for justice and racial equality. And now in Minneapolis, there's a cemetery memorializing the black lives lost in law enforcement killings. Here's Fox 9's Maury Glover. The corner of 38th and Chicago has become a sacred intersection, an ever-evolving mix of murals and memorials that's both a celebration of the life and a condemnation of the death of George Floyd. But a block away, there's a much more somber setting to see the grave toll police brutality has taken on black lives in America. Just seeing the vast number of tombstones here, it's it's unreal, and I've been very blind to this situation up until the past month. The Say Their Names Cemetery has more than 100 headstones made out of cardboard, plastic, and paper with the names of African Americans killed by law enforcement. Some have become all too familiar, while others are less well known, but no less powerful. This reminds me of the gravity of the situation and our tolerance for it. That's a lot of names. Emotional, it could have been my name there. You know what I mean? So very emotional, or even, or even my nephews and stuff, sisters or whatever, you know, could have been here too. So it's very emotional, very emotional. The art installation was created by two artists and recent grads of the University of Pennsylvania. They wanted to humanize the list of black people killed by police circulating on social media and decided a symbolic cemetery near where George Floyd was killed would be a good way to do it. Hurtful, confusing, um, angersome, um, a blessing, right? It, it was all those, those um, things all wrapped up into one. Roxanne Tisdale Roby brought her sister and grandchildren to the grassy field at 37th and Park to help explain what's going on in their community. I think this is a great way to kind of explain it to them, a way for them to get a visual um, there and learn it a different way. So I think it's beautiful. And even though the cemetery is a piece of art, the emotions it evokes are all too real. These are obviously fake graves, but Everybody that's come here has treated them like real graves and not walked over where the bodies would be. So I think that's it's really awesome that that respect is shown. If this memorial doesn't doesn't make you feel some type of way, you need to reevaluate. And if it does make you feel some type of way and you're not doing anything about it, you also need to reevaluate. In Minneapolis, Maury Glover, Fox 9 News.